As you see, it sits on a big frame, like an H frame. It will all be powered by rubber bands, of course. You see, it's a, a swing arm with an axis, of course. Mm -hmm. That is kind of uh, imitating, you know, the rotation in the shoulder. The long side of it, we will attach the X holder, and then we put the X in between these uh, two plates. So we're making an X holder that will actually clamp in the X, like here. Yep. But a little bit down, so that when it starts swinging, the centrifugal forces will actually start to rotate it. And then at some point at the top of the X holder, it will leave the contraption and fly off. But we need some more input. I mean, I need to know how many rotations are ideal. I need to know the distances and the force. The force that we need to have the X sticking into the wooden target. Well, that so. sounds like a perfect science project for me. Might have to take you up on that. It sounds like fun to me, but okay. <laughs> I'll go do the work for you, and you, you can get I'll the building I'll be designing, right? Have fun. <laughs> oh, I will. Hey, Cheyenne, you want to take a look? Sure. Now we got three bands on, ah. and the fourth is already in position. Loaded and ready to go. You want to see it swing? I sure do. <laughs> okay. Stand back a little here. Yeah, a little good idea. Okay. Ooh. Get your beating stick out. So now... Whoa! <laughs> Definitely more power than last time. That's a nice that's karate good. chop, don't you think? Oh, that's pretty brutal. That'll chop some wood for sure if we want it to. So should we attach number four? Of course. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> it's there, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So of course there is a danger that when we get too much power here, that the swing will be so hard that the head of the thing crashes on that board there. And, and then shatters. It would shatter. Yeah. But on the other hand, it has to overcome the same amount of rubber on the back swing, and therefore, in theory, it should stabilize itself. Well, that sounds promising. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You can feel the power now. Whew. It's a little bit harder to cock back. Yeah, a little bit is the way to say it. <laughs> okay, take care. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> way more powerful. That's nice. I think that's like the perfect amount. Well, at least we try it, and if it still is too weak, we put on more rubber. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a really good start. Maybe we should uh, try it with an axe soon. What do you think? I think we should get it into position. Are you ready for this? Always. You get a one-hit wonder. Three, two, one, go. Woo. All right, almost. That was so close. It was close, yes. <laughs> you want to kick it over a bit? Little kick. Moment of truth. Ah, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we you like did that? it. Nice work. Great <laughs> Nothing shot. better than flames and explosions. I really did hit bullseye with this one. Whoa! I think it's because I was focused so much on it, I wanted to find out what happens when I hit that target. Whoa! And then it was an explosion. Like you can't beat explosions. <laughs>